So after about 15 to 20 minutes past the whipped cream phase, you'll start to notice um, it turns into something like this. It sort of looks like clotting milk, kind of like milk gone bad. Um, you'll notice the little clumps starting to stick on the side of your bowl. And this is just the buttermilk separating from the butter, I guess. Um, the surefire sign that you've reached the consistency that you want is the it just starts going crazy and it starts to spit at you. So I like to use a tea towel um, over the whole mixer just so it doesn't get all over the place. But, you know, it'll still get you, so watch out for that. Um, and then once that starts to happen, you want to stop your machine. You can turn it off. Um, and at this point, you'll notice the butter is completely separated from the buttermilk. And it starts to ball up. Um, so once you turn it off, you can just tap the um, butter off of the whisk. And the easiest thing to do is just kind of tap your whisk against the side of the bowl and the butter easily comes right off. So that wasn't an issue. Some people, I think, prefer to change to the hook attachment right before it clumps into a ball, but I didn't find it an issue. So I think you can go ahead and continue using the whisk. Um, okay, so at this point you want to clump all of the butter pieces to one side so you can go ahead and strain the buttermilk and you can save it for pancakes or drink it, whatever you like to do with your buttermilk. And now you want to use your ice water. I used about a quart of ice water and in three different steps I poured in about a cup of it and then with the paddle attachment whisked the butter for a couple minutes and then strained it strained it out and then repeated the whole process again, pour in the water, whisk, strain. I did that until the water was clear. And again, I used about a quart of water.